Hello everyone. Today we are here to show you guys how to disassemble and reassemble your Lenovo laptop and to repaste the thermal paste on the CPU. On this particular one, it's the Lenovo model number 80RK. That's the interior model number. And the other model number, it's an ideal pad. 100 and this is i core 3 so let's go ahead and get to it first thing first you want to take remove the battery for removing the battery don't there's only two screws so remove those screws and then just slide the battery towards yourself and it should come out if it doesn't. Don't worry about it. So let's try. Maybe there's one more screw underneath. Yep. I think there's more screw underneath. Some Lenovo with two screws, you can remove the battery. So let's go ahead and remove the rest of the screws. Alright, now once you remove the screws, you can just pull the CD-ROM out and that's as far as you go for replacing your CD-ROM Next, you want to flip it over and open the lid I use a guitar pick, a metallic one You slide it right on top of the keyboard and then you just lift it up from the middle just go all around and lift up the keyboard. Pull it towards the screen and lift up the black cover for the ribbon cable. Just lift it up 90 degrees. And the there you go. And now you can remove the cable. Lift up the ribbon for the mouse pad. And that's about it. All right. Now you can go ahead, flip it back down, let the lid open a little bit, just grab the top bottom cover, just lift it up slowly. And don't pull the back side. Because there's the battery cable coming from the bottom cover all the way to the top side. To remove the battery, it is from under the keyboard. So just pull this cable out, that's your battery cable, this is the weirdest thing ever, don't know why they left it down there. So now if you want to remove your battery, just unscrew these two screws. And your battery should come out easily. There you go, and there's your battery. I have no idea why they did it this way. They don't make it accessible. I leave the link, there's the link in the description for each part if you want to replace. All right, let's go ahead and replace the, take the hard drive out. By doing that, there's only four screws that are holding it. Once you remove the four screw, just slide the hard drive to the right side where the CD-ROM is. And there you go. If you want to take the hard drive out, unscrew the four screws that are on site, and then you can just remove the hard drive and replace it with a new one. Any 2.5 inch hard drive will do it. Unhook the Wi-Fi cable. Uh, remove the screw, the only screw that holds the board for the Wi-Fi in 45 degree angle, just pull it towards yourself. Let me zoom in. Uh, 
Alright, now from here, you're gonna go ahead and remove the fan. There's two screws holding it, one under the warranty label. And one right by the hinges, the two screws. Now, you loosen up this one. You can't just actually remove it, you just loosen it up. You're gonna remove the heat sink, two screws. Now you can go ahead and lift up the heat sink and unplug the fan. As you can see on this model, they really messed up and they did not put a heat thermal paste right over the second part of the CPU and that's why it really overheats as they left it blank. I have no idea why. You got the second die in here, it does the graphical work. So this is just uh impurposely done or they just missed a metal uh thermal pad in here maybe. Now you can actually clean your heat sink this way. Secondly, after that you want to re remove the tape, right? No, no, we just lift up the tape for the flex cable for the screen. Use your two fingers from the both side, just pull it out. Don't yank the cable. That way you can remove the cable. This is the BIOS battery. If you want to remove the BIOS battery, you lose the date and time on the on the motherboard, and you have to configure it again or just Pull the battery out, and then the, that way you don't have to actually disconnect the battery from there. Now, now we're gonna remove the motherboard. To remove the motherboard, there's only two screws that are holding it. This side and that side. One at the bottom by the stick card, one by the internet cable. And on this side. On the bottom side, disconnect the speaker cables, and there you have it. And there's your RAM and your motherboard. This is the simplest motherboard ever, and the most shittier speakers ever. There's only one puny speaker, no subwoofer, nothing like that. And if you want to go ahead and replace your touchpad, it's right there. You only can remove it with the heat. You have to apply heat so you can detach the part from it. So let's go ahead and put back down the motherboard. First plug in the speakers. That way it's easier when you... Right. Now put down the one side. Put the two screws for the motherboard. Now we're gonna go ahead and clean up the heat sink and the CPU. Rub alcohol. Just rub it nicely for the CPU. And over a heat sink. Then you wanna go ahead and grab your thermal paste. I use an MX4, and if you wanna use Arctic Silver 5, you can use Arctic Silver 5. Apply it evenly over the CPU, <coughs> and apply a little bit over the second part of the CPU. Uh, this is not gonna reach the heat sink. You have to put a thermal pad over. Over the second part, so you can actually reach up to the heat sink.
Now first connect the heat, the fan cable, and then you want to put down the heat sink. And then screw the heat sink back on. And there we go. Make sure it's evenly placed. Alright, put the BIOS cable in its place where it's supposed to be. Cable management is really important, otherwise you're gonna cut the cables, put the screws for the fan. Put the cable for the CD. Don't push it, don't grab from the cable, just grab from the side of the jack and pull towards the CPU. Don't push the cables, just pull them from each corner, that way you don't damage the cabling. Grab the Wi Fi, plug in the cables, that way it's easier. Alright, in 45 degree angle, put it in and then push down. You gotta put the screw for it. There you go. Once you did that, you might want to put the hard drive in. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna connect the hard drive to the computer to do a backup. Because I am going to format this one, so in order to remove the hard drive from the caddy, remove the two screws on each side. And there you go, we got one terabyte hard drive right there. So I'm going to do a backup of this one. Alright guys, now we need to do the backup for this one, so we're going to put it back in, so that's the way it's supposed to go, and this is the way. All right, to slide the hard drive in, put the face down. And uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna put the four screw that's holding it. You don't actually need the four screw. You only need one, one is more than enough. But for the heck of it, we're gonna put all four. On some laptops, they only put one, so you don't actually need to put all of them. The screws are there just for preventing it from sliding it out down. Right, we're gonna put the battery in the place, run the cable from the back side, slide in, put the two screws. Right. You gotta run the cable for the battery through the opening right there. So, grab the cable, run it inside, and make sure there's nothing else is left. Everything is connected, the fan is connected. Now, go ahead and 
put the back cover in, close the lid, alright, now we're gonna connect the battery right under the motherboard, right there, Put the cable for the mouse pad, put in the keyboard, left the black cover, uh, put the bottom side first and then just push in the sides, if you don't want to go in just give a curve a little bit and it will go in eventually. There you go. Now you can close the lid and flip it over. Put the CD ROM in. And now you're gonna screw all the screw back in, and that's how you do your service. I hope you guys like this video. If you like the thumbs up, and think about subscribing so you can support me to motivate. So I can make more videos, show you guys how to do your own services. And if you have any question or any requests, leave them in the comments. And I'll be happy to get back to you guys with, uh, with your request. Alright, that's how you do your service for your Lenovo laptop. Well done.